Hello, bonjour, good morning, good afternoon, whatever day, time, year it is when you're watching this. It has been, I think like two weeks since I vlogged and it was kind of nice to just like take a little bit of time to not be pumping out content. I'm not the best at striking a balance of like getting all the thoughts that I have and all the things that I wanna do out into the world at once and like being balanced about it and not driving myself crazy. So all of that to say, I had a little bit of an overwhelming breakdown balancing my goals personally aka content creation and work and life all at once so yeah working through that nothing new sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the background but i feel very reset when it comes to content creation and thinking about my goals and what i want to do with it we're picking the camera back up i don't have that many plans this week but I do have a few exciting things. And I am starting to plan my next event. So you guys can tag along in that whole process. So far where we're at right now is today. I decided that I wanna have a May event. Um, and I put a poll on my Instagram asking if they wanted it to be at like a bar, a hot girl walk, um, a park meetup, any of the things. And I think right now Hawker Walk is leading by a landslide. I'm also trying to figure out if people like to do it on weekends or weekdays. So I think my next one I'm actually gonna do on the weekend, which I haven't done before. I usually do weekday events, but I also feel like people usually like can't always make it because of work. So I know a lot of people travel in the Bay Area every weekend, myself included. So if people can't make it, that's a bummer, but I think it'll be fun. I'm thinking about doing like a long walk around the Presidio, reaching out to brands to send some stuff, which I love doing. I love getting like free stuff for the people that come. And yeah, I just love planning these events. Joe and I are very much in the thick of trying to find a new apartment. Um, he is very set on moving and I love this apartment. So I don't wanna move as bad as he does, but obviously I want him to be happy. He really wants a washer dryer. Um, if there is something that is within our budget that is substantially nicer, then yeah, obviously I'm down to move. Also, how cute is this vase that I found in the $5 section at Target? Like I'm freaking obsessed. It's so cute on my little coffee stand. This is from Amazon, this like TJ Maxx, clog up TJ Maxx and yeah but I am so obsessed with it I had two bouquets and I just like kind of combined them and I made them a little bit too short but it is the cutest thing literally five dollars so obsessed hey Joe hey how was work show them your background really nice <laughs> happy Tuesday it's a very happy Tuesday around here because we have a lot of exciting updates one, I just announced my next meetup, which is gonna be, I think tentatively May 11th, and we're gonna do a hot girl walk, and I'm so excited about it. Second, I just recorded my partnership with Outside Lands, where I'm announcing the lineup, which I'm so excited about. I can't believe that I'm like collaborating with Outside Lands, that's so insane. And I get two free GA tickets, so I will definitely be there. And third, I just got this massive Old Navy haul and I ordered some cute things that I like wouldn't normally order. So I kind of wanted to do like a haul. <laughs> okay, I actually got three pairs of the exact same jeans and I kind of messed up because I did them all in the same size. So if one doesn't fit, like all of them won't fit. I should have done at least like one different size just in case. I'm that weird size where I'm just like in between sizes all the time. I'm usually in between like a four and a six because I have a really big butt and every jean feels different. It's good because my camera doesn't show my bottoms right now. Ugh, they're too big, but this is what they look like on. They're supposed to be these like baggy style jeans, but they look a little too baggy. I have to look in the mirror obviously, but they're looking a bit too baggy so i'm gonna have to go into the store and exchange those probably i don't think i can get them taken in to like fit good enough okay then i ordered this super cute little tank i loved the detailing i thought it was so adorable perfect for summer and like i love a tank but i always feel like they're so boring so this one was so cute definitely keeping that these i was so excited about okay. these look like dupes of these gani flats that i had been eyeing for over a year now. I got them in both black and this like white croc. 
I ordered this cute little black skirt for tennis, golf, pickleball, you name it, because it's almost summertime here and we're gonna be trying to do a lot more outdoor activities now that Tahoe is done. This little white tube top, because I think that's everything. I thought I ordered more, but I guess I didn't. I think I might actually be missing because I ordered that tube top in black and I'm pretty sure I ordered the jeans in black as well. So I might have another shipment coming, but if not, I'll link everything that I did end up ordering below so that you can check it out. And honestly, I feel like it's an old Navy summer, like they're rebranding, it's kind of cool. Okay, now that we're done with that, tonight we are going to the Giants game, which was a very last minute plan. We got like $25 seats um, in the bleachers and I'm super excited. I actually just signed a deal with them today to become an affiliate with them. So now I have a code, I'll link it below because I'll probably have it by the time I'm posting this. So literally just crazy dreams. I'm partnering with the San Francisco Giants and Outside Lands, like SF goals. But I'm really excited. They're playing the Mets, which is my home team, the team that I've been supporting since I was a little baby and that my dad taught me to love. So I'm super excited. He sent me a Mets hat last year because we went to this game last year. So I'll wear my little Mets hat and root for the wrong team. It is literally like my favorite activity that we do if I haven't said it enough. You're in a Mets hat tonight? I have to. Why? Because we're I'm a Mets fan. Oh now you're a Mets fan? I've always been a Mets fan. Do you know who's pitching tonight? Nope. Oh my god hi friends it's now wednesday no oh my god it's thursday when is the last time i even vlogged hopefully i vlogged i think i vlogged on tuesday when we went to the game and the only day i didn't vlog was yesterday i know i didn't vlog yesterday um but today's thursday nonetheless i'm getting ready to go on a very little walk it's like kind of sunny but very windy outside but i just like need some sun on my face so I need to get outside. I want to drop off my Nespresso pods to like do the recycling program. Um, I have accumulated a lot of those. So yesterday, I need to catch you up on yesterday. So remember my last vlog, I was saying how me and Joe toured an apartment and I loved it from the start. I was like, oh my God, I feel like this is our future apartment. And then it ended up not being it. While we were there, I was like, I just wish that we could find another apartment like in this building at least. And something happened to come up on the market on Sunday and we went and saw it yesterday and fell in love. So we're waiting to hear back if our application got accepted and either I will circle back in this vlog and be really happy or very sad because I'm trying not to get too attached to it, but like it was, a dream apartment and so reasonably priced and literally checked all the boxes so fingers crossed so that's been fun tonight i am gonna go to my friend's yoga class she just became a yoga instructor at karma yoga which is a yoga studio in san francisco that i have loved since i moved here me and her used to take classes there like every week and now she's an instructor there so that's really exciting gonna go there and support her um and then we're having dinner with our friends at mamanoka which is one of my favorite restaurants in san francisco honestly it's delicious this weekend joe has a hockey tournament like south of san francisco so he's gonna be out of the city for most of the weekend and i'm honestly like really excited because i just love like a weekend to reset and spend time with my friends or just do things that i've been putting off i need to like list a bunch of stuff on poshmark probably go through my closets and get rid of some stuff all the things that you just like put off all the time we've made some great strides in planning my upcoming event the hot girl walk i've connected with a bunch of brands this week about donating product for it and i'm so excited because some of my favorite people were going to be sending stuff and like Eek! it's always so fun i really hope that it's nice weather for it and i definitely want to vlog like the whole process of planning it and the actual event itself so that maybe like it inspires other people to start planning events like anyone can do it it's so easy and it like makes people really happy so i'm excited for that pretty much all i have to catch you up on i my mind has been completely consumed by this apartment search even though i didn't really want to move that bad so we'll see how that goes I actually don't know how this just happened, but I just spent over $200 at Brandy Melville. So that was a very expensive walk. But I got so much stuff because pretty much everything I got in the Old Navy haul that I did 
doesn't fit. It's like all too big or just like honestly feels kind of cheap. So I'll do a quick run through of everything I got. This really cute little black shirt that has a built-in bra. You can see it because it's inside out because I tried it on. This like over the shoulder white top. I've been dying for one of these. It's a little big, but I liked it. This see-through lace thing that I like need to get a bandeau for, but it is so cute with these little like cargo pants. I honestly can't believe they fit me. Like everything in Brandy is so big and tiny. It's inside out, but you get the gist. This little American flag sweater obsessed. I love their sweats. So I got another pair. This one has a tie, which I have ones that don't have a tie right now and they're so comfy, but the waist is like way stretched out and too big. And then I got these little pants. They're like low rise linen pants. They've been like pretty viral, I feel like, and everyone has them. But honestly, I'm going to wear all of these like all summer. So I feel like that was well worth the money. So yeah, expensive walk. Good morning. It is now Saturday. I am enjoying my delicious breakfast burrito. California breakfast burritos just hit so freaking different. Like, look at that. Last night I went out with some friends to, to a bunch of wine bars and it was so fun. Um, I went to like three different wine bars actually. So a decent amount of wine, but it was all natural wine and I'm not really feeling too many side effects today. So that's always nice. I made myself a little ice latte at home. So I'm proud of myself for not buying that out. Today, I'm going to go to this like chocolate experience at the Palace of Fine Arts, which is like this beautiful building in San Francisco and they're doing the world's largest s'more. So I can't miss that. And I think I'm just gonna go for like some long walks. It's a beautiful day. Maybe I'll go read my book in like a park or something. I'm down for just like a chill, Reset day. Just gonna eat this Rito and see where the day takes me. Okay, I just got ready. This is my little Saturday in San Francisco fit check. I just got these pants from Brandy this week. So obsessed with them, Uniqlo top. These are Amazon sunglasses. They're like knockoffs of the, I think Celine. I think they're Celine, I don't know. This is Mitten Lily. I will link it below. I'm obsessed with this necklace. I wear it like every day. And then this is a cute little American flag brandy sweater, just in case it like gets cold because you actually never know what the temperature is gonna be at any given moment in San Francisco, but I'm so excited. I wore like comfy shoes so that if I wanna walk around, I can, but I feel cute. to catch up on so yesterday i did my like third or fourth event which was a hot girl walk so i showed some clips of that and it was so fun it was like 35 40 people and it was just a literal blast it was so fun i try to do like monthly meetups which i think i've talked about before but that was my may event and it was amazing i just got ready because i'm going horseback riding on the beach and it's actually really gray out and scary so i'm very nervous that i'm gonna be cold i packed like a scarf another vest like i'm freaking out we're gonna do it anyway but some updates we didn't get that apartment that we wanted my mom came and visited and we went to carmel which i think i got some clips of those are like really the only updates that i have I've just been grinding like normal and trying to figure out my balance of work my instagram and my social life and everything in between so i'll continue to update you guys when i have time but for now let's go horseback riding <laughs> So I did a horrible job of keeping you guys updated in May and it's now June. But we have a lot to catch up on and I feel like we can do this kind of like a podcast, if you will, where I just like chat about how my May was because a lot of things happened, a lot of really sad things happened, but then a lot of really happy things happened. So I'll recap them and I can like insert clips of each of them here. So starting out right before I think I said that I was going to do like a monthly vlog, I started getting really sad news that my 
grandfather was like really not doing well in the hospital and that week he ended up passing away so i had to do like an emergency trip home to new jersey it was tough and i lost my grandma about six months before so it's just been a very like emotional year basically going through all of this and like their decline but such is life it's grandparents and so i feel like there's an expectation that you kind of are prepared for this but i really just wasn't for some reason. I was very attached to my grandparents and genuinely thought that they would live forever, which is my fault. <laughs> so yeah, I had to do an emergency trip home. And then while I was home and I was like out to dinner with my family, I got an email for Bottle Rock, which is a music festival in Napa. So I went on my first brand trip, which was absolutely freaking crazy. An agency reached out to me. They said, do you want to come to Bottle Rock with Pacifico, who's like a beer brand, I'm sure we all know it. And it was an absolute blast. They paid for my hotel and paid for my tickets. I just had to post some content and I had like never been invited on a trip like that or had a, a brand pay for my hotel or anything. I felt so like scared for it in the beginning. I didn't think it was real or like know how to behave at all. Like I got to the hotel, I'm like, okay, now what? I was just so excited and Bottle Walk was honestly such an amazing festival, like very clean, very well executed. I thought it was so fun. I loved that the crowd was much older than a lot of the music festivals that I normally go to because it's in Napa so it's like some pretty rich people that are there. I feel like the VIP section was just as packed if not more than the GA section because all of them could afford VIP passes. <laughs> but that was really exciting and such a pinch me moment and really like got me feeling motivated to really continue trying with social media. I do it as a hobby but I also really take it seriously and do it like as a part-time job. And I go through ebbs and flows. Like today, I really was like, I just can't think of any content. I'm getting my period. And I am feeling very lethargic and everything. And I just wanted to talk myself out of it. But I feel like it's okay to take breaks. And even if it's a one day break or like a few days break, it's fine. And then the weekend after that, well, the Thursday after that, Bottle Rock was Friday to Sunday. Then Monday was Memorial Day. Thursday was my birthday. I turned 28 and we went to a delicious birthday dinner. It was like a very average birthday. I still worked and was working from home, but Joe stayed home. And then we went to like the pool, our new Bay Club membership where it's like our gym with a beautiful pool. We went there and then we went to a delicious dinner at Penny Roma, which I absolutely love delicious Italian food. It was phenomenal. And then this past weekend, we went to the Giants-Yankees game to celebrate with my friends, went to a little street festival before that. And then I stayed out until 2 a.m. when the bars closed and then demanded that I go to the diner that is near me. So I was out until like three, I think, which is not something that I normally do. But yeah, all of that to say is May was a very hectic month. I was traveling a lot. I'm ready for summer to start. I'm gonna try to do as much of like a monthly vlog as I can um, and really hold myself to that. I think the weekly vlogs are a lot and it's tough when you're like trying to grow your channel at the same time, but it's a fun way to document pretty much everything that I do. I also went to Carmel with my mom right before we got the news about my grandpa. Um, we did such an amazing trip. I have a really great recap video about that on my Instagram and like a highlight of all of the amazing recommendations that I have. Carmel is literally a fairy tale city. It was so beautiful. There were just so much like beautiful wildlife everywhere. And it was like the cutest little fairy tale village types of buildings like so beautiful. I can't believe that I'm 28 years old. It seems so old when I say that number, like 27. Sounded old when I turned 27, but like really didn't feel that old throughout the year of it. Like 28 feels so old. I'm sure I say this every year, but like it really does. Thank you for being flexible as I'm like navigating all of this, but I'm so happy that I have documentation of at least a few things and will continue to do so moving forward. So I love you. Bye.